friends, Miss Natalie here. Today I wanted to show you some of the things that you can do with the freehand brush tool in Krita. So I have it selected right now. It's the one that looks like a little paintbrush. Oh, come on. Sometimes when you hover over it, it says its name and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, well, it's this one right here. That's the freehand brush tool. Ah, there we go. Freehand brush tool. Thank you. Uh, so um, the freehand brush tool only works in paint layers. So if I go to my layer section, you can see I am in a paint layer. Um, and it works with all of these brush presets. So I'm going to just start by showing you with the basic one a couple of the things that you can do and then we're going to explore some of the more interesting brush presets so um basically it's like drawing with a pencil except for with a mouse or a mouse pad and it can be a little tricky it could be a lot smoother if you have a tablet to draw on uh, but another way to make your line smoother even if you're just using a mouse or a mouse pad, is to go over to tool options. Your tool options might be somewhere else, but I keep mine right here. And to go to brush smoothing. If you go down to stabilizer, it gives you this tool that doesn't let you go too fast or too far. And you can see how much smoother the line is when I'm using the stabilizer versus when I'm just using that basic smoothing. Again, basic smoothing, I can go fast and it gets kind of jagged. Uh, stabilizer forces me to go slower and it is definitely smooth. There we go. All right, so that's, that's a really nifty tool. Um, especially if you're just using one of these basic sort of pencil or marker type brushes. We've got some different markers and, and pencils. Um, but if you're maybe using a paintbrush, you don't care so much about it being uh, stable because, you know, you're doing something that's maybe a little more painterly and a little more interesting. And that's okay, too. Um, and you can like get different colors and do different layers and it's lots of fun and you can build up. Um, there's so many different kinds of paint brushes. There's acrylic style paint, there's watercolor. Here's a watercolor brush. Uh, there's a sponge. There is a big watercolor. So there's a lot of things to, um, there's a chalk. There's so many different brushes that you can play with. And you can use the stabilizer with all of them. There we go. You get a much smoother line. Or you can, you know, go painterly. Um, I am most happy that is available is the eraser brush. Now you can turn, say, a basic paintbrush into eraser mode up here. Um, and that lets you do that. But sometimes then you forget to go back to non-eraser mode. So having to choose the eraser, and you can make your eraser like big enough so that you could literally just get rid of a whole bunch at the time. And then you can go back to, you know, the pencil or marker, or pen, or paintbrush that you were using before. Again, just like lines, we can change our, our size up here. And you can also change the opacity, how, how see-through or um, non-see-through that your line is. Um, so if I want to make it more of a see-through line, I can do that. And that makes it, uh, yeah, more opaque. And I believe that's all you really need to know about the freehand brush tools. So go try it out and make some art.